it's not just about tuition hikes anymore. Even many of those who didn't care much about the problems facing students in Quebec have now joined the ranks of protesters. It is something that we should and have to go in the street to protest against. And we have to be there and we have to make noise because it's the end of, of democracy if we keep on this way. I'm a father, I'm a uncle, I'm a grandfather, and uh, for the future, uh, I think so. Uh, the, the country and the city you need, you need school. Tens of thousands marching every day, making a noise to express anger at what they see as draconian government measures to suppress people's rights to freedom of assembly and expression. Earlier this month, the government here adopted an emergency anti-protest law to make it illegal to assemble without permission and to insist on a precise roadmap of any planned march or demonstration. This is quite a, this is the map of Montreal. Yeah, that's the map of Montreal. That's, uh, that's what we think about the law. <laughs> I think that, that's very sad for, for democracy, very sad for Quebec. And uh, the first time in my life I say, mm, I'm living in uh, Quebecistan, or absurd, absurdistan, or something like that. A day after the anti-protest law was passed, a quarter of a million people spilled onto Montreal streets in defiance. In a peaceful march, more than 700 were arrested in just one day. There were uh, people coming out from the bar, actually, at that time, and they were arrested and they weren't. Uh, going into the demonstration. There, there had been tear gas, there had been um, a lot of uh, physical arrestation. But the people keep marching and banging their pots and pens, each now risking a fine of up to $5,000. When there's too many people, they can't arrest everybody. Canada's media aren't spending much time showing incidents of police brutality. All journalists in Canada live with the politicians and live with the the, 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 the the gang that are making the rules. So they don't want to get outside and see what's happening in the street really. And they don't want to know about police brutality. They don't want to know about it. You can see how dramatically the protests have evolved over the past three months. In February, when they started, it was the students of Quebec versus the government of the province. The gatherings were generally very peaceful, but the police reaction was overwhelmingly harsh. And as if that wasn't enough, Quebec's leaders thought a quick fix law to quell the protests would spell the end, but it didn't. Now they're facing anger over fees and freedom. I'm Ganesh Chakan. From the streets of Montreal, Canada, RT.